Day two is our strength. Attitude is never giving in. Attitude makes us who we are. Inside Villanova Basketball with Jay Wright is brought to you by your Quality Plus Ford dealers, proud sponsors of Villanova Wildcats basketball, by the Villanova University Office of Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program, by Plymouth Country Club, by Mainline Diagnostic Imaging, the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging, by Pico, they put their energy into helping you save energy and money, and by UPS. We are Villanova University, passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. Gunderman Group. Gunnerman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. The design of the Ford Escape is clearly intended to grab your eye. Oh, and your foot. Huh, ain't that a kick. The Ford Escape with the foot-activated lift gate. Go open up something interesting. Go further. An energy-guzzling refrigerator can waste up to $150 a year. At Pico, we'll pick up your old fridge and pay you $50. Pico, we put our energy into helping you save energy and money. Hello, I'm Jay Wright, and welcome to another edition of Inside Villanova Basketball. Just recently, we had the opportunity to play at the Palestra, one of Philadelphia's great venues. And uh, a great experience that we had was Dante Cunningham returning to watch us practice there. His Pelicans were playing the 76ers, and he took the time to stop over and, and watch us practice and, and talk to the guys. And it's something that's a big part of being a Villanova basketball player. It's working hard while you're here like Dante did to develop into a, a man, a student, and a great player, but then also to come back and, and share that experience and always be a part of the Villanova family. On the surface, it looks like a regular practice the day before a game. But today brought a familiar face back into the fold for just a few minutes. Not much has changed. Uh, the drills are the same, you know, the, the chatter, the, the intensity of hitting the floor. You know, I, I, can, I can remember my first year, you know, walking in and seeing a practice and, you know, kind of stepping back and then, you know, I'm right in there, you know, hitting the floor, diving with the guys, you know, just all the things that, you know, Coach Wright kind of instills in you and makes, you know, makes you a great player. You know, he's doing it all over again. It's great. A lot of us have a good relationship with some of the alums, so it's definitely big for us because, you know, they succeeded at this level, and we're going to learn from them, and then they're at a level where we're trying to get to, so like, they're really like big brother role model type players for us. If we load well, we're going to force them to skip. 
you know, you can, you know, walk into a family reunion and, and you know, see a cousin that you haven't seen for a year or two and, you know, just pick up right where you started, you know, and honestly, that, that's how it feels here. You walk in and I see new faces and they walk right up to me, hey, how you doing? You know, almost everything about me and I'm talking right back at them just like I've been with them for four or five years. It's actually been six years now since Dante Cunningham and his classmates completed a run that no group ever had before. More wins than any senior class in Villanova history on the way to the Final Four. A source of pride and maybe a little bragging to those who come after you. It's something that you'd always, you know, jab at them with, you know, yeah, you know, we did that, that was our class, you know, you were, you know, our young guys that, you know, things like that. It's just, a, it's a great thing to kind of come back and, you know, hopefully the guys now can have something else to, to strive for, a mark that they can beat and, you know, once they do it, it it's just more pride and obviously the team would be better. Cunningham has now become part of an ongoing theme in Villanova basketball history. When I was here, I've always seen guys come back and show their support and, you know, just the pride of being a part of Villanova and being a part of something, you know, just bigger than yourself. It's, you know, it's kind of honestly what being here is all about, you know, just the love. I mean, it's hard to kind of explain unless you've actually been on the court and, you know, had the pride and the energy, you know, kind of flow through you. You know, once you see, you know, a guy that's made it and, you know, came out of the program and is very successful, you know, it, it's definitely a great feeling when they come back and, you know, show their support in time. Dante came back to the Wells Fargo Center again as a pro. It's, it's obviously the dream, you know, that you worked all your life. And once you found out basketball can kind of take you on and carry you, you know, through life and, you know, provide for you and your family, things like that, you know, is what you sacrificed for, you know, growing up and, you know, spent, you know, hours and countless hours in the gym. Uh, coach, you know, yelling at you, you know, screaming at the top of his lungs, you know, things like that. And, you know, it all pays off at the end and it's, it's great. <laughs> Basketball is one of those sports that, you know, you can always improve, you always can get better, you always can expand your game. I would say the best thing that, you know, happened this year is just the coach, um, Monty Williams, allowed me to, you know, step into the, to the three position a little bit more. So I'm guarding a lot more different guys on a constant basis. And, you know, obviously that's, you know, expanding my game, allowing me to, you know, be more versatile on the court. Time has passed quickly for the man who's now one of the graybeards of the Pelicans roster. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm out there with a lot of kids that are, you know, born in the 90s. You know, you look at the roster and you're like, whoa, these are, these are some young guys out here. But, you know, it, it's, it's actually great. I definitely embrace the role of the elder statesman out there. And, you know, the guys look up to me and, and I love, you know, being the older guy out there. I'm one of the older guys. I'm the second older Hey, guy. you're a veteran, right? I can tell. I can just tell by the way they use you. You're like the solid guy on the squad, the old vet, right? That's good, though, because you can do that for a while, Yeah. right? Cunningham learned a lot from his college coach. The little things, the intensity, paying attention in huddles, um, he, he always asks for your eyes. Um, it's a big thing for him, and it keeps you focused. It keeps you in the moment. So when there's a whole bunch of distractions going around in huddles, and you know you you can he can sub you right in. You know exactly what's going on because you pay attention to the play before that. You know little things like that may not be important, or they may not be said, I guess, in the NBA level. But coaches understand that, and coaches like that, and you know you really can't teach that at the NBA level. Okay, let's go to work. Let's go, stretch. Let's go. One, two, three. Attitude. Let's go. Go to work. Stretch, stretch. And some teachers continue to teach, even when school is out. Being professional, being accountable, is just going to provide all kinds of opportunities. And then you can pick whatever you want to do, even though you know you got your plans for your cars, if you want to do that. But don't limit yourself. You know, and this is a time when you can really make a positive impact, which you know I think you're doing. you're planning your organization's next meeting or event, consider the Villanova University Office of Conference Services. You'll find state-of-the-art meeting facilities, award-winning dining services, modern guest apartments, professional one-stop planning assistance, and a convenient location right on the prestigious Villanova campus. Call us at 610-519-7580 or visit us at conferenceservices.villanova.edu. Villanova University Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program. Today, a doctor sees an MRI of a traumatic sports injury. 
a mammogram of tiny tumors, a CT scan of blocked blood vessels. MDI is the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging and we provide answers. From mammography with computer-aided detection to the most advanced open and high field MRI. Our board certified radiologists and supportive staff provide unsurpassed patient focused care. MDI, Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging. If you're a Delaware Valley golfer looking for the perfect place to call home, come take a look at Plymouth Country Club, located minutes west of Center City, Philadelphia, in beautiful Plymouth Meeting. This superior design will challenge your game and soothe your spirit. The clubhouse includes banquet facilities for up to 300, the perfect location for your wedding or special event. Plymouth Country Club offers a private club experience at a daily fee price, with membership starting at just $260 a month. Call or visit us on the web before this special offer disappears. We are Villanova University, passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. When he arrived on the Villanova campus, Daniel Lechefu was a pass-first, team-oriented big man. This year, he's still all those things. But now, he's on his way to becoming a beast. Lechefu starting to back down, spins, turns, off the glass, counted, and he's fouled. Yeah, he's unplayable by himself. I, I, they, they can't guard him alone. Daniel, he takes, he takes great pride in being a great player and he's willing to do whatever he has to do in order to become one of the best players in our conference. And I think that's what he's become. I think that, um, you know, he really, you know, invested a lot of time in getting better this summer. Uh, he did like a Navy SEAL training in, in California where, you know, his mental toughness was really tested. And you could tell the difference when he came back and it's really paid dividends for him this season. I've never been one to just sit down and kind of like, wait for things to happen. I just, I want something, i go get it. I, I want to be a better player, so every day I wake up, I'm thinking about be, becoming better. That's how I've been since I was younger, and I guess it just, it's a little bit stronger now just because we're on a bigger stage, obviously, but I don't think that's ever going to change for me. He'll also never change his love of throwing the perfect pass. Coach always says that he's, he's closer to Magic Johnson than he is anyone else. Like if he, he can make 10 hook shots, but if he has one uh, unique pass, he's way more excited about the pass than he is about scoring 20 points. So that's just who he is. And who he is means the Wildcats can try things, things that on paper have little chance. It never works in practice, maybe like one out of every 20 times. I, I could normally get uh, go get the ball, but sometimes it, it gets tipped, but I know Arch is either going to be on the three-point line or he's going to be somewhere around the three-point line. So put it in that general vicinity and he's going he's gonna to get the ball. The hero of the play may have been Josh Hart, who had struggled to throw the perfect bomb in practice. I remember one time we were in here, he tried to throw the same pass and he hit the light. We had, to, we had to stop practice for a little bit just in case the light didn't fall. So it, it's, he got it off, he didn't hit the, he didn't hit the, uh, the jumbotron, so I was, I was definitely proud of that pass. To see that working for it just proves the point. Like, it's just, just listen to coach and everything's gonna be all right. He fouled you like five times, right? Mm -hmm. You still just ripped the ball. Then you, then you drove by him, right? Stopped, dime. So if you're gonna do that to that guy, you can do it to anybody, you understand? Mm -hmm. Great job, great job. He has an unbelievable just feel for the game for a big guy. And, you know, you won't find many big guys with his IQ. Like if we matched up by position, him versus his opponent in terms of just their overall IQ and his ability to make his teammates better, I think he has the advantage every time we step out there on the floor. Slow down. They can't deal with you in there. Keep it. You can always make that pass. Slow down. Go to work. Go to work. Hey. If they don't double you, go every time. 
I may sometimes have one-on-one -on -one coverage because they don't want to give up a three-pointer to Arch or Dylan or Darren or whoever it may be on the perimeter on the opposite side. So uh, that's really just having great shooters around me, being able to go one-on-one. -on -one. If I'm one-on-one, -on -one, then I'm pretty confident I'm able to get that shot off. You brought it back to your right hand. You had him. You had him. He was dead. That's a great, yo, you made a great long step. He was dead. And then you want it back to your right hand. Just put that up with your left hand. Achefu is a terrific student. Achefu backing down. Hook shot. Count it. That is a big time take by the junior. Daniel has worked hard at developing a hook shot, a go to move that's as pretty as it is unstoppable. Who finds Ochefu in the low blocks? Backing down, hook shot, count it for the big fella. In confined spaces, Ochefu's hook gives him a chance to soar. I work on it every day, especially last summer with Coach Big. We work on that um, pretty much every day. And then even now in the season, we work, I work on it every day before practice. Uh, I know that's like, that's like, that's my go-to move, so you know. Obviously, you're going to work on that the most if it's your go-to, so I'm definitely very confident in that hook shot. If he's making that, that hook shot with a, on a consistent basis, it's going to be really hard um, to, to double-team him. And, and when, when teams do or when they're forced to, um, it, it could really make our team go just because he's so unselfish. Hilliard trying to go to Chef with the low blocks, finds a cutting Ennis for the easy left-handed layup. Yes, the pass to the open shooter and all the little things are still number one with Achefu. He loves making plays for his teammates. He loves making big defensive plays for our team. And you know what? He's really taking a lot of pride in rebounding the ball now. And you know, I think his goal is to be the, the, the leading rebounder in the Big East. And I think he takes up the challenge every night to go out there and dominate the glass. Great pass inside to the slam. Dunk. And there's clearly a lot more everyone can't wait to see. I think I'm just scratching a little bit of my potential, and Coach Wright sees that, my teammates see that. So I just got to stay humble, um, keep working hard, and not lose my drive. Just being humble and hungry, honestly. That's every day get better. That's, that's the mentality I take. That's something you really take pride in as a coach, to see a young man like Daniel uh, work so hard and, and, and develop on the court and off the court. He's got great confidence in his scoring ability now. He's got intelligence and confidence in himself as a man. And that's going to carry on throughout this season to bigger and better things. Gunderman Group. Gunderman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Got to get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the rush of driving a Mustang. Oh felt like never before. I could happily probably cry right now. Wow. That's insane. It makes you feel like... Wow! That is amazing. <laughs> Introducing the all-new Ford Mustang. Experience more online now. An energy-guzzling refrigerator can waste up to $150 a year. At Pico, we'll pick up your old fridge and pay you $50. Pico, we put our energy into helping you save energy and money. If you're planning your organization's next meeting or event, consider the Villanova University Office of Conference Services. You'll find state-of-the-art meeting facilities, award-winning dining services, modern guest apartments, professional one-stop planning assistance, and a convenient location right on the prestigious Villanova campus. Call us at 610-519-7580 or visit us at conferenceservices.villanova.edu. Villanova University Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program.
No one thought we could do it, but I did. And so did they. Step inside the Rump Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. The final four. Game one, Memphis State against Villanova. Howard Garfinkel used to call me the best communicating guard in the nation. But I think I had a talent that went way beyond that, that I, I kind of saw the psyche of each position as a point guard. Um, I'm a student of the game, so therefore, I saw the teachability and I saw it all meshing together. It was almost a, like an exercise of visualization. The point guard is the extension of the coach. So he played that role to the T and uh, he was ready for the moment and, and he rose for the occasion. Gary was the perfect general for that team. And you can hear him barking orders to everybody over the announcers. So when I coach kids, I said, this is what you have to be if you want to be a point guard. This is how you communicate to your teammates if you want to be a point guard. McLean for it. Darren McLean uh, was one of those guys that get the team together. He was the guy that, that I, I'm so thrilled that he had the ball. You know, he was going to make it happen, and one day it was going to be his time to shine. I don't know if we could have won that game without Gary McLean at the helm. The confidence was only brought on by my environment and those that supported me even then. I could talk about my third grade teacher, Ms. Karpinski. I could talk about my mom. When I talk about confidence, I think it was more the competition aspect has been around me for quite some time. Tell me who you'd rather play, St. John's and Chris Mullen, Georgetown and Michael Jackson. Hey, I don't care, I just want to play and I'm so happy that we are here. Today, a doctor sees an MRI of a traumatic sports injury, a mammogram of tiny tumors, a CT scan of blocked blood vessels. MDI is the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging and we provide answers. From mammography with computer-aided detection to the most advanced open and high field MRI. Our board-certified radiologists and supportive staff provide unsurpassed patient-focused care. MDI, Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging. We are Villanova University. Passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. Gunderman Group. Gunderman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. <laughs> Villanova's got all the forwards back this week. It's great to see Chuck Everson, and, and he's had such an impact on this Villanova community. As a player with the 85 team, he was a, a big part of their success. Toughness depth on the bench, and a, and a real character on the team that really kept everybody together. And all these years later, he's still the connector. He's the guy that stays in touch with everyone, stays in touch with the coaching staff here at Villanova, and he keeps the 85 team connected to Villanova forever. It's hard to miss the biggest guy on the floor or in the room. And Chuck Everson's role for the 1985 team has gotten a lot bigger in the last 30 years. He's our public relations director. He runs everything through me. And I'm so proud to say that he always said, unless you want it, coach, we will do it. And uh, that goes back from when they were 17 years old. We were family. I mean, we, we were together all, and, and we still are 30 years later. I mean, I, I talked to at least somebody from that team probably once a week. So uh, I, where I'm in communications with everybody, I think, um, I don't necessarily think that we had the best players, we didn't have the best athletes, but we were the best team that night. I think, we're, I think the closeness and how everybody got involved and everybody did their share um, got, us, got us over the top. But the celebration on the main line didn't extend to everyone, as Everson has found out in years of hearing people's 1985 stories. 
The best one was, I, I worked for Sunoco, and we used to do this thing where we'd give out baseball cards for our fill-up. So they had Tug McGraw and Freddie Lynn at this thing, and they were teasing me. They were calling me Strike Zone for obvious reasons, you know? And uh, Freddie wanted to find the bar to go have a drink, and Freddie's a Boston Red Sox. I'm a giant Yankee fan, and uh, I relished the chance to, to talk to him. It's just me and him one-on-one, -on -one, and he didn't want to talk baseball. He's a big, big basketball fan. He said, where did you play? You had to play. So I tell him, he goes, oh my God. He goes, I was with Baltimore, and how much money I lost to Kyle Ripken. Ripken had you guys, I had Georgetown. Lynn probably didn't remember Chuck's signature moment in the championship game, or know about how that iconic Villanova story has now come full circle. In 2002, Prez and I went to the All-Star Game. The NBA All-Star Game was here in Philadelphia. And uh, we went over to the retired player's um, hotel. And nobody asked for credentials. They see a seven-footer with graying hair, and they think I'm a retired player. So I literally walked into Reggie Williams, and I spun him around. I said, I'm ready now. And he started laughing, and he gave me a big hug. And I said, Prez, you have to take a photo. So I have a photo of me and Reggie shaking hands. While that photo may be a collectible for Chuck, his time as a Wildcat is what brings him back one of the many in a long line of Villanova players who flourished in Nova Nation and then reveled in coming back to the main line. It's a lineage that began a long time ago and continues to this day and beyond, thanks to today's head coach. Once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat is really, really true. And, and he's brought everybody back in the fold. You know, when he first started, when he first came here, I'm sitting with Paul Arison at one of these things. We're talking about the night that Wilt scored 100 points. Who gets to do that? It was just it's so cool for me as a basketball fan to be able to talk to him about that. And he's brought everybody back in the fold, and we love Jay for that. It's cool when I come into a practice and all the guys know who I am. I don't even have to say anything, and I just go over and I can talk to Ryan and I can talk to Javon and I can talk to all these guys and it's it's really great you know and they look up to us and we talk to them and it's um, it's really cool and it's been that way since Jay's been here. What has changed in the last 30 years is the place Everson still calls home. I just love to walk around campus and see all the changes and how cool it is that the whole campus has morphed into this beautiful beautiful place and brand new buildings all the time, the Davis Center and the Nursing Center and some of the, and Bartley Cafeteria, all the changes that were made on campus. I just think it's so cool that they keep, they keep building and reinventing themselves and making it bigger and better. Dante Cunningham, Chuck Everson, Villanova big guys that stay connected forever, and Daniel Chafu benefits from the legacy that those two left behind. A big show for the big guys at Villanova. That's going to do it for another edition of Inside Villanova Basketball. Until next time, I'm Jay Wright. Go Cats. Inside Villanova Basketball with Jay Wright is brought to you by your Quality Plus Ford dealers, proud sponsors of Villanova Wildcats Basketball, by the Villanova University Office of Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program, by Plymouth Country Club, by Mainline Diagnostic Imaging, the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging. By Pico, they put their energy into helping you save energy and money. And by UPS.